Good morning and welcome back to the AI Explorer. Today I have something amazing to share with you. We're taking a deep dive into ChatGPT's brand new release, ChatGPT Agent. Now before we get into the demo, let me set the stage for what this is all about. Earlier this year, OpenAI launched Deep Research and Operator. These tools excited users because AI could now take on complex tasks, but what people really wanted was a unified agent. An agent that could think, act, browse, analyze, and even produce presentations and spreadsheets for them. And today, that's exactly what we get with ChatGPT Agent. The agent can now use its own virtual computer. It can switch between a text browser, a GUI browser, and a terminal, intelligently deciding which tool to use for each task. It can browse the web, fill forms, run code, analyze files, and even generate visuals using image generation APIs. And it works with third-party APIs like Google Drive, Calendar, GitHub, and more if you give it permission. Now let's walk through a demo. Imagine I have a wedding to attend later this year. I want ChatGPT Agent to help me plan for it. That means picking an outfit, booking a hotel, and finding a great wedding gift. In Agent mode, all I need to do is enable the tool from the menu or simply type Agent in the Composer bar. Once enabled, the agent sets up its environment. It takes just a few seconds. Then it understands my prompt and starts working autonomously, opening browsers, researching, and asking me clarifying questions if needed. What's really impressive is that it's collaborative and interruptible. If I suddenly remember I also need black dress shoes size 9.5, I can simply tell it mid-task and it adapts. And it adapts. It acknowledges the request, incorporates it into the ongoing work, and continues without needing me to start over. Throughout, I can see what the agent is thinking and doing. It even shows a visual of its screen while it works. And here's where it gets interesting. It will often ask me for confirmation at important steps, like before submitting an order or sending an email, so I stay in control. This makes working with ChatGPT Agent feel like collaborating with a highly skilled assistant. Good morning and welcome back to the AI Explorer. Today we have a banger of an episode. We're diving into the launch of ChatGPT Agent. Earlier this year, OpenAI launched Deep Research and Operator. People loved it. AI could now go off and handle complex tasks, but what people really wanted was a unified agent that brings it all together an agent that can think, act, browse, run code, interact with interfaces, and even generate files like slides and spreadsheets, and do this seamlessly, intelligently, and autonomously. That's what ChatGPT Agent is here to do. The team at OpenAI worked hard to build this agent so it can handle universal tasks. It uses its own virtual computer to get things done. The virtual machine comes with a text browser for fast research, a GUI browser to click around and interact with web pages, a terminal to run code and analyze files. It can access tools like Google Drive, Calendar, GitHub with your permission. It even uses the image generation API to create stunning visuals when needed. So let's walk through a demo together. Imagine I have a wedding coming up later this year. I want ChatGPT agent to plan everything for me. My outfit, hotel, and a wedding gift. To activate the agent, I just go to the tools menu in ChatGPT and select agent. Or I can simply type agent into the composer bar. Once it's active, the agent quickly sets up its environment. It understands my prompt and gets right to work. The agent starts by researching the wedding venue and dress code. It proposes outfit ideas, mid-luxury, weather appropriate. Then it searches for hotels nearby and browses for gift suggestions. And while it's doing all this, I can see a visualization of its virtual computer screen. I can watch its chain of thought and actions as it works through the task. ChatGPT Agent can also seamlessly switch tools. For example, it uses the text browser to read articles fast then switches to the GUI browser to check images or click buttons, then jumps into the terminal to run scripts or generate spreadsheets. And it gets even better, the agent is interactive and interruptible. If I suddenly remember that I need black dress shoes size 9.5, I can simply tell it mid-task. The agent acknowledges my request and incorporates it into the plan. It keeps going without restarting from scratch. It also asks clarifying questions when it needs more info. And before it completes any critical step like placing an order, it asks for my confirmation. That way I stay in control and can review things like a draft email or a shopping cart before checkout. This makes it feel truly collaborative, just like working with a skilled human assistant. And ChatGPT Agent isn't just about shopping or planning. It can generate reports, create PowerPoint presentations, edit spreadsheets, call APIs, and much more. OpenAI trained this agent using reinforcement learning. It learned not only how to use all these tools, but also when and why to use them. Early in training, it tried using everything for every problem. But over time, it learned to make smart choices and solve tasks efficiently. For example, if I ask it to find a restaurant and make a reservation, it starts by searching candidates with the text browser. Then it switches to the GUI browser to check photos and availability. Finally, it completes the booking on the website. 
Or if I ask it to create a creative artifact, it starts by researching resources online, then it switches to the terminal to generate code and compile assets, then verifies results visually in the GUI browser. It's truly bringing together the best of deep research and operator and adding even more. There's also a strong focus on safety and security. Since this agent browses the internet, OpenAI has trained it to ignore suspicious instructions from malicious websites. There are monitoring layers that oversee what it's doing and intervene if needed. And OpenAI can update these protections in real time as new attacks emerge. That said, this is a cutting edge product, it can't stop everything. So it's important for users to understand the risks. If something requires sensitive data like credit cards, it's better to input it yourself in takeover mode. That way you stay in control while still getting help from the agent. In the demo we also see that agent can handle long-running tasks. Some trajectories may take 15 to 30 minutes or more depending on complexity, but you can come back and see what it was doing at any time. You can jump in, adjust, and collaborate. The example of designing custom laptop stickers for the team was fun. The agent found designs, used image generation tools, and even added them to a shopping cart, all autonomously. In another case we saw the agent prepare a full itinerary for visiting all 30 MLB stadiums. It planned routes, prioritized events like Hello Kitty Nights and delivered the final result as a detailed spreadsheet. All this autonomously, intelligently and accurately. Finally let's talk rollout. ChatGPT agent is going live today for Pro Plus and team users. Pro users will get 400 queries a month. Some team users will get 40 queries a month. Rollout for Enterprise and EDU will follow by the end of the month. While this is incredibly exciting there's a new set of risks too. Just like we all had to learn how to browse the web safely, we will have to learn how to use AI agents safely. OpenAI is starting with lots of protections and warnings in place. But over time as users get comfortable they will relax these safeguards appropriately. So, this is a new technology, a new way to work and a new risk surface. It's important that we all treat it with care and caution, but it's also a glimpse of what's possible. AI agents that think, browse, analyze, act and help us get work done freeing up time so we can focus on what we really want to do. That's it for this deep dive on the AI Explorer. Thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of ChatGPT Agent. This is just the beginning I'm excited to see where this technology goes next. See you in the next video.